in the Republic of Congo, public markets like this one in the coastal city of Pointe Noire are often crowded with stalls selling smoked fish at around $4 a kilogram. Smoking this fish requires a lot of wood and high demand for fuel has contributed to the decline of the city's coastal mangroves. And as mangrove supplies are depleted, loggers are allegedly turning inland to the rainforest, according to the Resoy Foundation, an environmental organization. You can spend hours smoking fish if there's too much fat. But if there's not too much fat, it doesn't take long. As for the wood, it depends on the quantity of fish. If there isn't much, it takes a bit of wood. But when there's a lot, it also takes a lot of wood. Point Noir's population has nearly doubled over the past 11 years, and fish smokers like Lorient say more wood is needed to meet the high demand for fish. The same markets also sell charcoal and firewood, leading to even more trees being cut down. Fabrice Kifani, a woodcutter who works independently, says he sells wood to a Beninese community in Pointe Noire, specializing in fish smoking. Kifani works illegally without authorization to cut trees. Mangrove wood is cut into 30 centimeter pieces and sold to the Viennese community to smoke fish. The businessmen also use firewood to make barbecues. They are cut into meter long pieces. The trees around us are also used to make charcoal. Innovators have proposed alternative solutions such as more efficient gas ovens to reduce the smoking time and the dependence on firewood. Fish smoker Lorian, who suffers from health problems due to fish smoking, says she is ready to switch. If the ovens can enable us to smoke in a short span of time, women will benefit. Officials from the Fauna and Flora Protection Service say they haven't studied in depth the impact of fish smoking on the environment but back in 2007, a World Bank study found that every person in the Republic of Congo was using about one cubic meter of wood annually for a total countrywide consumption of 100 million cubic meters. The Association for the Defense of Consumers' Rights in Congo has also warned about informal logging and its impact on the environment. But despite these warnings, wood fuel is still the go-to for 86.7% of the population in the Kalu district, which includes Pointe Noire. According to district data, in 2021 alone, people burned 13,913 metric tons of firewood and 8,967 metric tons of charcoal. For Brice Kino in Pointe Noire, the Republic of the Congo, I'm Vincent McCory, VOA News.